for too many runs, but it'll be good to see him. And uh, let me just repeat that you are watching live coverage of the Kalyan Jewelers Celebrity Cricket League, powered by Parley 2020 Cookies. Ah, oh, nice. Strong off drive by Jishu. He's been there for a while, 37 minutes, well over half an hour, Jishu. Strike rate, not something you like to write home about. 68. Mr. Ganga Prasad, owner of the Chennai Rhinos. Very cleverly turned by Ruben. Well, it will be interesting to see how they progress from here because uh, they have had their strategic break. That's the owner of uh, Chennai Rhinos, the man in the middle. Srinivas Murthy to the left, uh, director of the Celebrity Cricket League in the white shirt. They've all put in a lot of very hard work. Oh, it was to his right. You'll have to say, cleverly run, knowing that uh, it's going to be difficult to pick up and throw. That's what they need. Keep the scoreboard moving. I think that strategy break has certainly helped. A nice, powerful off-drive by Jishu earlier on. Not this time, though. Forward defensive again. Well, they find themselves in a very precarious situation because they've already lost four, four wickets. So they, it's a good-looking shot straight down the ground for a boundary. A welcome boundary for Bengal Tigers. It's been very slow going so far. Even the four hasn't really brought their supporters on the feet. They also know that going has been extremely slow. This was a good-looking shot. Straight down the ground over the bowler's head. That was a bomb. Chikawawa moment. No chance for the long on long off fielder. Oh! I tried to repeat the shot. It was hit powerfully again. But uh, enough time for long off to come around and ensure it was only a single. 11 gone, 52 for four. That cover sweeper is just such an important position in uh, cricket, regardless of which grade you're playing. So many runs saved there. Jiva and the rest of the Chennai Rhinos can see uh, the lighter side of the Celebrity Cricket League. They're so well placed to win this final league encounter of theirs. Ruban. Chris. Ball isn't going anywhere off uh, Ruban's bat. That's Shruti Hassan once again. Brand ambassador for the Chennai Rhinos. Bengal Tigers uh, supporters, their camp is looking pensive, and rightly so. Straight hit down the ground for a single. Singles are not going to hurt the Chennai Rhinos. In fact, they'll be happily conceding uh, singles at this stage of the game, because they, they also know that a couple of wickets here, and the game is as good as over. Up in the air, that might go all the way. It does. High and handsome. What a welcome. Maximum for Jishu and the Bengal Tigers. That's more like it, Jishu. The bomb chicka wow wow moment struck very well. It was a foolish length. And didn't he climb into that? Hard. Not too high. Well, our spaceman likes it too. Where did that come out of? Fantastic. We need that more often. In fact, Bengal Tigers need it uh, more oh! often. Followed by a defensive prod that's once it, again. That's it, that's it, it's extremely important that you make the over count. Even if you've hit a six, Bengal Tigers find themselves in a stage where they need to keep moving and ensure that the scoreboard is moving. So if you can foretell the maximum, maximum number of sixes in this match, uh, three, five, seven, or more than ten, that's the poll question. Another four inside edge uh, takes... 27 was it, and by the time it was 29, the Bengal Tigers were four down. Popped into the cover region. For a single, that's all right for Ruban. Well, he's been there for 23 minutes. Uh, it's okay for him to push it around and show that Jishu, who's captaining the side today, gets uh, the lion's share of the strike. Sri Devi looks concerned, understandable. We need some runs, Bengal Tigers. 
Now, what uh, Jishu did last over has opened our eyes. We know he can hit it big. Taps it for a single. And uh, Jishu, what's holding you back? A couple more. We'll all enjoy them. Well, this Bengal Tiger is not roaring as such. Jishu is uh, on 32 of 30 deliveries. Ruban is off. Has scored 12 of 12 balls. And the best over was uh, the 12th over where they got uh, 12 runs. But they need many more of these because uh, at this stage, at this rate, they'll only get 204. 6 and over will take them to 110. And uh, unfortunately, that might not be enough. Drama out there, but Vishnu is racing through his overs. He's got only one delivery left to complete his spell, and uh, with 13 dot balls, he's caused a lot of damage. Gentle off spin, but they have not been able to read him or get him away. None for 15, no wickets for Vishnu, but it's been a terrific spell. Of course, it helped that four early wickets fell. So, there we go from uh, the Anna end, final ball of the Vishnu spell. Lashes out at it, but straight to long on. So, just a single. Vishnu ends the spell. None for 16 from four. Three off the over, 13 gone. 67 for four. Making the most energy efficient appliances. Ah, oh, a big hoik, and it'll go straight down the throat of long on. That ends the long vigil of Jishu. The skipper for the Bengal Tigers today. Played very well for his 32 from 31. But it's all over for him as the Bengal Tigers now sink to 68 for five. Result in something substantial. Tried to hike it uh, over the long on fielder. Managed to just hold out, getting hold out in the deep. This was how he got out. Gave it his full, but I don't think he timed it well. But the fielder did. Took a well timed catch. Jishu is the man, Vikrant was the fielder. Shantan was struck in his first over itself. So now Shantanu has two wickets in Kalyan Jewelers CCL 3. Raja off the mark with the very first delivery. Despite his size, he too doesn't hit the ball big. More content to push it around. Just 14 runs. This is his fourth match. This is the ideal time to turn his season around. Last league game of uh, this season. If you got if you were to make an impression, this is the time. Bail your team out. They're struggling at 71 for 5. So getting to the end of the 14th over. Getting into the business end. But then only 5 wickets left. And uh, these are the speeds at which uh, Shantanu is operating on. Well, with only 6 overs left, if we give them 5, maybe they'll definitely cross 100. That's for sure. Need if they can somehow get to 120. They can make a match of it. Full toss. Once again, not capitalized, so just a single to end Shantanu's first over. Successful, 14 gone, 72 for five. 